Howdy everyone, it's Sam. Welcome back to the Wobble and Jaw Sports channel. If you're new around here, hope I can get you to consider to like the content and subscribe to the channel. But if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. Let's look at the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles 2024 fixture. Their preseason is as follows. In week number one, they play in Gosford. They're the away team against the Roosters. In week number two, the Sea Eagles host Brisbane at Four Pines Park. And off the top of their head, I think that might be Broncos' first trip to Four Pines Park in possibly eight seasons, but that's not regular season. Um, in regards to the teams, though, I think the Broncos announced or revealed that they're leaving on the 22nd of February to get ready for Las Vegas. So Brisbane Broncos will be playing an extreme Queensland Cup edition side. I think the same could be said for Manly. So of the two preseason contests, probably for all um, of the Las Vegas combatants, week one is where I would suggest um, maybe the likes of even a Tom Trevojevic might don the Manly jersey in week one of the preseason challenge against the Roosters out there at Industry Group Stadium out there at Gosford. Um, but that's how it goes for the Seagulls in the preseason challenge. Week one against the Roosters, which I think will be a little bit more star heavy. And then in week number two, they host the Broncos at Four Pines Park. Here are the first five rounds for the Manly Seagulls in 2024. They have the honor of being one of the first two teams to play in Las Vegas, to play in the United States for the first time ever. Out there at Allegiant Stadium, it's actually looking like it could be a dub for the Manly Sea Eagles. I know it's a month away still, but I'm already sort of leaning towards Sea Eagles to pull off the upset there. Their next game, so they played that contest on Sunday the 3rd of March. Their next contest, which is entirely fair, isn't until Sunday the 17th of March, where they host the Sydney Roosters at Four Pines Park on a Sunday afternoon. Hopefully, obviously, the jet lag will have dissipated by then. Manly technically have two home games to start off 2024, even though one of them is on the other side of the planet. Um, but it is a little bit more fairer as well, knowing that the eastern suburbs are also uh, dealing with the Las Vegas trip. I actually like how the NRL have done or dealt with the four teams that are playing at Allegiant Stadium to start off their season. Then, one week later, on the Sunday, this time they are away for their first away trip of the regular season to the Parramatta Eels at Combank Stadium. Then, the next round, in round number four, they are away to the Dragons down at Wynn Stadium in Wollongong. It is a venue where I believe they got their first win at the joint since 2003, last season. Um, and hopefully, touch wood, that if Manly are fit and healthy, they should be able to add on to that uh, recent success down there at the Gong. And then to round out their first section for 2024, they are back at home on a Saturday in a twilight fixture and they are hosting the Penrith Panthers. So looking at the strength of schedule, South Sydney, Roosters, Eels, Dragons, and Penrith, when I compare it to the other two videos that I've done, I don't think it's the toughest. Um, I think it might sit actually maybe, maybe just in between, maybe just a little bit tougher than the Bulldogs just because of the, that travel, that hectic, travel to Las Vegas, but Souths and Roosters, Penrith, those three in the first five rounds, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's certainly no easy way to start off a campaign, but I do foresee maybe two or three victories for the Seagulls inside that first section of 2024. The next block of games is as follows. They have back-to-back -back away games. As a matter of fact, in this block, they are away three times out of the next five weeks. In round number six, they travel across the ditch to take on the New Zealand Warriors on a Saturday. One week later, seven days later, this is gonna be a really anticipated contest. Maybe one of the most anticipated of the season. Des Hasler's Gold Coast Titans hosts 
the Manly Seagulls up there on the Gold Coast, Saturday the 20th of April, round number seven. That's gonna be that's gonna be a pretty juicy event. In round number eight on the Friday night, they host the Parramatta Eels. So that's it, that the double against the Parramatta Eels is done inside the first eight weeks of the competition. Round number nine, exactly one week later, they are still back on home territory. This time, they host the Canberra Raiders for a 6 p.m. Friday night game. And round 10, which rounds out their second section of 2024, is uh, the start of a Suncorp uh, back-to-back weekend. But it is round number 10 against the Dolphins up at Suncorp Stadium for the Sea Eagles. And looking at the strength of schedule, looking how it all goes, there's two trips to Queensland, one trip to New Zealand, those home games, with all due respect to the Eels and Raiders, it could garner two or uh, sorry, it, two victories, which would garner four competition points. Um, they definitely want to get at the very least one road victory uh, inside this uh, section, uh, where they're away three times out of the next five weeks. Here, um, again, a l- it's about the same. It's it's. A lot of travel so far for the Manly Sea Eagles. Las Vegas, down to Sydney, to Wollongong, Auckland, Gold Coast, and then Brisbane in back-to-back weeks. There's a fair bit of travel for the team that did the least amount of travel in 2023 to start off their campaign for 2024. Section three for 2024 is Magic Round. It starts with Magic Round in round number 11. So they've already been up at Brisbane for a week already. They are technically the home side against the Brisbane Broncos. And I believe this will be the last time that they will select to play a home game at Suncorp against Brisbane. So maybe the Magic Round for 2025 will look very, very different for both the Sea Eagles and the Broncos. One week later, they are back at home for Friday night Channel 9 combat against the Melbourne Storm at Four Pines Park. And after a hectic start to the year for the Sea Eagles, they have their first bye in round number 13. That's ty- that, that's going to come very, very timely. That's going to be needed because their next contest, and I'm not too sure if this is origin affected or not, but round number 14, they are away to the Penrith Panthers. Sunday afternoon, Channel 9 footy, they are away to the Penrith Panthers. In round number 15, they round up their double against uh, not just the Penrith Panthers, the Eels, but also the Dragons as well, because in round 15, Sunday 2 p.m., they host the Dragons out there at Four Pines Park. So section three, uh, there's two away games and two home games, one in Queensland, one out at the Golden West, and then there's also a buy thrown in there as well. That may be the time where Origin is about, they'll, they'll more than likely cop a loss, maybe even two. Um, but for some reason or another, I'm looking at that Magic Round contest against Brisbane. I'm, I don't know why already, but I'm already feeling it in my bones that that could be maybe the best addition of a Seagulls Broncos Magic Round. Uh, fixture. I, I don't know why it's just given me that maybe this will be the year that it doesn't turn out to be a friggin' dud. The fourth phase for the Manly Seagulls in 2024 starts in round 16 and concludes in round number 20. Round 16, they are away to the South Sydney Rabbitohs Saturday night football. They then have a bye in round number 17. The next contest they have It's another trip to Queensland all the way up north. They take on North Queensland at Queensland Country Bank Stadium on Saturday night footy. In round number 19, they have an eight day rest and then they take on the Newcastle Knights at Four Pines Park. And section four rounds out with, again, what will be one of the more anticipated or talked about games in the media at the very least. Round number 20 concludes with the Seagulls versus Desi Hasler's Gold Coast Titans at Four Points Park, Channel 9, Sunday afternoon footy. So in this block, Souths, 
cowboys, knights, titans. In the ether, it sounds like they could nab a few wins here or there, but in amongst Origin, I think that could be not make or break, but I think that part for me is going to reveal a lot about the chances of the Sea Eagles and where they'll finish up inside the top eight. It's like there's teams that can be beaten, but I'm not sure. I think it could be a bit tricky for him. With State of Origin finished, the run to the finals begins in round 21. Everyone's all rested after Origin series. Everyone's back, full hands on deck. From round 21 to 27, it's the run to the finals, and this is how it shapes up for the Sea Eagles. In round 21, they play at Allianz Stadium. This will be the first time that they have played at the newly revamped venue. Saturday, Saturday night football against the Sydney Roosters. They'll put a fair bit into that because in round 22, they have a bye. Their third and final bye comes in the run to the finals. Uh, that, that's a nice little bonus to have in your back pocket at that time of year for sure. In round 23, Saturday afternoon football, they ventured down to the nation's capital to take on the Canberra Raiders. So they are on the road technically uh, in back-to-back -back weeks, but there is a buy sandwiched in between there. So their next home game is in round number 24, Friday night footy. It's the 6 p.m. kickoff game, and they are taking on the New Zealand Warriors from Four Pines Park. Round 25, Thursday night football, Leichhardt Oval is the venue, and they take on the West Tigers, and that is the game that Luke Brooks and all West Tigers fans are all penciling in big time. Thursday night footy, Tigers versus the Seagulls, with Luke Brooks storyline looming ever so largely there. In round number 26, it's another away game, another back-to-back -back feature, and they are away to the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs at a core stadium. Off the top of the dome, I think the Seagulls did pump the Bulldogs uh, this time last year. Um, but it just seems like every year for the past, I don't know, six or so years, um, they seem to play very, very late in the season at a core stadium, and it seems to have a fair bit riding on it. In round number 27, the final round of the season, it is the final home game of the year for the Manly Sea Eagles. And it is against their arch nemesis, the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks, Sunday, 2 p.m. footy. And that could be a game that either gets them a home final or just gets them into the top eight. The same could be said for the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks. And just as a fresh reaction, as an initial reaction, their run to the finals is rather comfortable. Yet yeah, there's two back-to-back -back away trips in there. There is a buy, but the strength of opponent, Roosters, Warriors, and to be perfectly honest, to a lesser extent, the Cronulla Sutherland Sharks, three out of those final six opponents for the Sea Eagles will be stern tests for them. But I anticipate for them to deal with the Tigers, the Bulldogs, and the Raiders rather handsomely. That could, oh wow, I think that's a really decent end of year for the Sea Eagles if they're firing on all cylinders and touch wood that they don't have any injuries. That's, um, maybe that uh, changes my mind on whether or not I put them in the top eight or not um, for 2024. That's, ooh, if I'm a Manly fan, soaking that run to the finals in that's a pretty decent way to finish one's season i can't really say that the sea eagles have the most comfortable draw that i've seen out of the three that i've done so far it's all very different and there are no easy draws um their first half of the year is travel 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 and that might it could come back to haunt them in the second half of the season they were the least traveled side in 2023 and they're absolutely clocking up the frequent flyer points in the first half of 2024 but um that yeah as i just waffled on about um just then that run to the finals man that could be a 
very golden part. That's That could be a golden part for the Sea Eagles to punch their ticket to finals football. But just the section before that where they take on the Cowboys, the Knights, the Titans and the Rabbitohs, they were sort of with them. They were all sort of there amongst, amongst each other in 2023. It's going to be interesting. That's a very... I think that's going to be the most crucial part for the Seagulls in 2024. Yeah, they do have a pretty hectic, I've said that word like three or four times this video, but they do, they do have a pretty um, up and down, a lot of travel uh, start to 2024, um, I've granted for sure. But I just think that that part there in section four is where maybe one of those two wins, I mean, let's say for example, Round 19 against Seagulls and Knights. Knights win that game. It could be that one victory where the Seagulls miss out on the eight because they didn't get the job done on Newcastle. I think that's what I'm trying to get at here. I think one of those matches could actually decide the top eight in the end when season season's end comes to its conclusion. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you. Take care. Adios.